everyone. Thanks for joining us on our CIG TV News Update. I'm Donna Bush. And so the little engine has now come up to see these toys and these animals and they're distressed. Monday morning, our cameras headed to East End Primary for a special assembly. It was all for the launch of a home reading program at the school. Representatives and members of the LIFE program donated all the funds for the program. They were thanked for their contribution by Minister of Education, the Honorable Tara Rivers, and school officials. Minister Rivers, as you just saw, took the time to also read to the children who attended the special assembly. Well, the eastbound lane on Smith Road remained closed to traffic today as the National Roads Authority carries out upgrades in widening the road. The closure is from the junction of Hospital and Workers Roads. Traffic has been able to access Smith Road using the westbound lane through the traffic signal at Bobby Thompson Way and is allowed to travel to the four-way junction at Hospital Road. Now, the NRA will close the westbound lane next, so motorists are asked to continue to be cautious when driving in the area. The Cayman Islands is honored to be a part of this global initiative and to participate in the observation of a minute of silence that is being held at noon in each time zone around the world. Well, today is Peace Day around the globe and we here in the Cayman Islands took part in the annual celebrations. After Minister Baudin's speech, cruise visitors and residents alike witnessed a flash mob of dancers and non-dancers who took part in the Peace Day celebration. Called One Day, One Dance, it was a dance for unity to the song Heroes. The event is organized every year by the staff of the Family Resource Center under the Department of Counseling Services. Well, for most of the day on Saturday, the Cancer Society's health fair drew hundreds and hundreds of people. The Day of Awareness and Education was themed, Conquering Cancer 4, Let's Fight Cancer Together. There were lots of great workshops on various topics, including screening for lung cancer, Are We There Yet?, Breast Cancer Diagnostics and Treatment in Cayman, and Ovarian Cancer Update. Also taking part in the free event were various businesses showcasing their services at their booths. A huge focus at the Cancer Society event was the free health screening for anyone who attended where they could find out about their individual cancer risk and what they could do to lower it. There were also lots of prizes and giveaways for attendees to win and receive. Well, if you missed our news update today, you can get all the details on our Facebook and YouTube channel. Please uh, don't forget to tune into Radio Cayman's talk shows. That's for the record, week mornings and talk today, week afternoons. For now, I'm Donna Bush. Thank you, as always, for joining me, and I hope you do the same again tomorrow. Until then, be safe and bye-bye for now.